English fan experiences American college football game. It's been a while since I've reacted to American college football. I actually love these kind of videos. So really looking forward to checking this one out. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up, subscribe. It really helps me and really helps out the channel. Yeah, let's jump into this and check this out. Today I'm experiencing American college football. I'm English, which is clear from my it's accent. actually mad. This video and the fact that I clearly have free health. I say it's mad because like, it's just crazy how big college football is. Like It would be nothing like that in the UK. Care. Sorry, it's the only joke I'll make. Our most popular sport in the UK is football. The world's biggest yep. sport is football. However, today I'm going to the land of soccer, which, well, technically their biggest sport is football too, even though they play with their hands. I'm in LA for a few days. <laughs> the opportunity to soak in something uniquely American. An American football nice. game, and not just any American football game, a college football game. I've been told these games have some of the best atmospheres in world sport. Yo! My own Today I'm embarking to watch and experience a game in sunny Southern California oh, between the 24 Frank USC Trojans and the 5th Frank Washington Huskies. USC Stadium, LA Memorial Coliseum has a- Bro, that- Wait, and that's a college stadium? That is crazy. And this actually looks really cool. It actually looks like an actual Coliseum. Bro, it's a mental man. You would get nothing like that in the UK. 80,000 to the same 80, size as the San Siro. This should be mental. What did he say? 80,000 to the same size as the San Siro. This I don't know what San Siro is. I'm not a football fan. Welcome to away days and welcome to LA. Let's do this. I do watch football occasionally, like, uh, but not much. Mainly, like, international. Tonight. Morning from the world's biggest college sports fan. Does that that sentence isn't okay in England, is it? That that <laughs> wouldn't be okay. I am either gonna love today or hate it. Let's go find out which one that is. Love sports. I actually really love American football. The Arizona Cardinals are the team I follow in the NFL. That's about as fun as following Leeds. I'm very intrigued, basically, by 80,000 people. Like I said in the intro, the same as the San Siro, at a sport where, you know, British people maybe look at for a different lens as to how American people enjoy it. So Fair I'm point. curious to know whether the over-enthusiasm is going to annoy me or I'm going to enjoy it. Right. Yo, I feel like this guy is literally going to be brutally honest, bro. And I, I'm all for it, man, because you're actually going to see his, like, real, like, first impression of american college football game being from the uk hopefully the the game is today <laughs> am i right it's a, it's a, it's a manly breakfast isn't it cool. this is what the sports fans eat now there we're talking the, sign. the real one Better list. i think that's where the game's being played today that is Hefty. Anyway, everyone always says about how college sports in America are where the real fans are, the real committed fans. Is that I've never true? understood it. Never understood rooting for like they're not pro. Like they're everyone in college yeah. sports as a player is aiming to get to the very top, right? Yeah, see, to me, being from the UK, that's a bit weird. Like how you guys is it's really cool though, don't get me wrong. How you guys are so crazy over college football. But that's like the next, that's like the stage before going professional. Wouldn't you be more crazy about professional? But then again, some of you guys did explain like it's where you're from, where you went to, stuff like that. So I'd find it very hard to yeah. get invested in that. Like in English football, for example, there's a pyramid where you're working your way upwards so you support your team. Whereas here, it's like almost a completely separate entity that I've never really understood. And hoping by the end of today, I'll understand it or I'll get really drunk, <laughs> which you know. I Either feel like way, British good. British sports drunk and American sports drunk is two very different things. But maybe by the end of the day, I'll disagree with that. Interesting. Probably not, but maybe. Is that Maradona? It can't be Maradona. No clue. You know what? I actually just realised why college football is so big. So you know, like in the UK, you have club football. So it's like teams in the cities will play each other. It's like your NFL, right? Um, and then we have international football, but because America's so big, right? It's like 50 countries in one. So the NFL is like, um, actual, like, like technically like international, right? So like the countries played each other and then college football is like club football where it's like, this, it makes sense in my head. I don't know if that's making sense. It's making sense in my head though. This is really cool, isn't it? Oh, the cookie place. Welcome to America. Here we are. Isn't it? It is mad to me, by the way, that like there's like a sponsor for the field and all this money goes into college sports and the mad athletes only just started getting paid, I think. 
football don't really Wait, get the whole... Yeah, do college football players get paid to play for the college football team? Do they actually get paid? Watching college students... I know college is different than America. College is uni. You'd be arrested in England for watching college students, wouldn't you? Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and rightfully so. I'm not defending it. I can already read the comments, by the way, that are going to be like, Ellis, you need to go to this certain team for a really good atmosphere. And no, that's not how it works. Because if an American tourist goes to any football game in England, you will still experience what a football game is like. Right. Whether you go to the temp tier of England true. or the top tier of England, you'll experience a good atmosphere. That is true. Game. And also, this is apparently, both teams have a chance to get in the playoffs. It's the 100th anniversary or some bollocks like that. So none of this, oh, a better atmosphere, or this was a worse was I'm not going to go to another American college football game. This is the one. So Wait, what already? What does it mean instead? I was gonna say you haven't even been to the game yet. What do you mean you're not going to another one? Just take what you're given, all right? I've wandered onto the college campus. Is that allowed? No, <laughs> I think that's a bit dodgy, mate. This immediately not a fan of. Fight on feels very just. It's too positive for me. Found the quarterback for today's game. There he is. This is quite <laughs> a, a nice small. vibe. I think this is. I've stumbled into the tailgate here. Oh. The problem is, I'm just a random British man on his own. Like, see, this don't happen in the UK. Like, next to the stadium and stuff, you won't get. Like, you'll get shops, obviously, but you won't get like this kind of place where you can get like hot dogs. Or, oh yeah, this is. This is what I'm talking about. I'll be here. I'll be here. How do I go about getting involved in this? <laughs> just, just a random brain man at Legion. Just go and eat. With a camera. <laughs> Hello, can I take your food? On a genuine note, it is absolutely mad, isn't it? That, like, you can be someone who's not even a professional athlete, but still essentially a celebrity. Like, right. this is all for them. You know what I mean? Like, it's what, cool. What is I like on? it. This is such like a different world isn't it this would be like being in your university football team and having yeah. a hundred thousand people rock up to watch you bro in uni in the uk your college right the only people going to the sport games is family members and maybe your best friend if they're waiting for you to finish so they can go home or something <laughs> i don't know but nothing like this not even close weird like in the best way possible. No wonder they're all got massive egos. Who I've done it. They, they might be lovely. What I always find amazing about America is whenever I sort of come to do something in America, is it is exactly like every movie ever portrays it to be. That's cool. I like that. There is one of the Trojans. Not really sure how that works because his country wasn't found for the 1700s, and he's dressed like a Roman. Maybe he was their quarterback last season. You can see why some people will go to like an American college and make it their whole personality for the rest of their life. But this is fancy. Look at this. Oh wow. Because okay, this is where I went for three years of my life. I'd talk about it until I died. <laughs> you know like how in the US office, like Andy Bernard went to Cornell and that's his entire thing. I'm Never assuming there's a lot it. of people like that who peak in high school or college and then that's their life. Which is easy to if you're like is a that true? quarterback and then you Is that true? To all my American viewers watching this, people that go to like college and they like peaked at college, do they like talk about it for the rest of their life? Because like I went to university and I barely mention ever that I go to university. Like, I mention it every now and again that I got a degree or whatnot, but I'll never really talk about it, you know what I mean? Don't make it as a career. It must be so hard to have a life. Because you're you, you playing around like 100,000 people, and then you have to go and work in, like, a garage. Oh, my. Right. This Imagine. is just unfathomable to me. They're what just there happens? for education, and they become, like, absolute studs. Studs the word? I reckon so. This is just madness, isn't it? What is going on here? For college. This is just... Do you know what I mean? Like we are going to watch people who are only playing this really for a free edge. Some of them might make the league, I don't know. But most of them are just playing to have their education funded. And this is the fan base they have for it. I'm never this gonna really crazy. understand it. What is it with this country and seltzers? I don't care if they're healthier for you. <laughs> they taste like urine. Stop it. I've never so had one. Me nice LA Galaxy jersey. And I hate that for so many different reasons. You know they there's too many frustrations there for me to unpack in one sentence. This is my sort of scene. Tacos, tortas, burrito. I should give this a go. He's got a quesadilla and a watermelon drink in there. I don't know if it's... Yo, even... you know what? If we actually had this in the UK, I probably would be a fan of football. Like, as in, like, UK football, right? Because I don't really go to games. I have been to a few games, but, like, it's not as good as this, man. We're not even inside the stadium yet. 
Do you know what I mean? And oh, bro, if they had like food like this, I, on, you, you can't get food in the UK. You definitely can't. But it, you, you can't get like Mexican stands or anything like that. Was, was just, you just get like a simple hot dog or something. There's like crack in there, and that's unbelievable. The quesadilla is, um, oh, stop it. Big up the food cart. Some Yo! Of the first huge helmet to feature on this channel, is it? Let's go through the helmet. Right, I need to leave this tailgate actually because I need to go get my tickets early because I've been given field access tickets. It's not about that. I need to collect early. I am inside. I have just had the horrible news. The experience I have to go pitch side might also include a thing where you run out with the team in front of 80,000 people before the game starts. Wait, he's got to do that? <laughs> Wait, what? How? And I just, there's not even like a thing, I just categorically don't want to do that. I'm aware you get that's tickets an amazing experience and whatever. And probably once in a life that I don't want to do it. D so that's a full experience there, bro. For 90 minutes, or however long the game lasts, 60 minutes. It's really cool, isn't it, to be fair? Lifelong fan of the club, you know? Oh, he's looking American. I've had it confirmed to me that I'm, I'm running out with the team. Look at how big the stadium is. Bro, is massive. That is huge. Alright, bro, and this is college, bro. This is blowing my mind. This is actually blowing my mind. This is maybe gonna be. That's a blimp. I've never seen a blimp before. What? Yeah, I've never seen a blimp either. Stop this happening. We're being escorted down to the like in person. There's experience in college football, and then there's. Running with a plane. Ah, this is mad, isn't it? This is, yeah, that's crazy. Slightly mad. There is actually the players. See, I find it weird once again, like, this is really cool and right next to the players, but still, like, what level are these? Are these semi pro? I don't really, I don't really get it. Yeah, you know what? It is confusing to us because, like, they are the level be below NFL. Right, so they are semi-pro. Like, do they get paid? Because like, there's a lot of people watching them. You know what I mean? I would assume they get paid, or no? I don't know. Like, I'm so confused. Here's the lads, the squad, the boys. I mean, quite literally, they are. Having a party before? One of, one of these will probably play in the NFL one day. Hugs for everyone. Yeah, that's crazy. How many players are there? There's so many players. Marching on together. Marching on together. Where am I going? Have I gone? Have I got lost at this point? Am I slightly lost? <laughs> Is like he lost? Maybe partially lost. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going to see how far I can sort of walk. I'm off on one now. Turn of pace. Thank you very much. Just keep walking and pretend you're meant to be here. I think. Where are they going? <laughs> can I follow them? <laughs> he really said just. <laughs> Just keep walking and pretend you're meant to be there. That actually is the, the best plan, bro. I know. How are these men not middle-aged? Are they senior students? Middle-aged students? Maybe. Look at him. That's craziness. Massive. I need to leave. All right, we get Caleb Williams, future number one pick. Does he play for the team I'm, I'm supporting? He does. Apparently, he's going to play in the NFL one day. He's five years younger than me. It's a bit weird if I'm like desperately trying to get his attention. I think that is mad. So, wait, someone's told him about the players saying that he's probably going to be in the NFL because, like, he's really good, so keep an eye on him. It's a bit dodgy. Go on, launch the ball and catch the ball. That's football, baby. Once again, should never be lost that these are essentially, like, in England, it would be like your university team having 80,000 people watch you. And even your mum and dad don't come watch you, so <laughs> it's a very, very different. Yeah, I can't lie. The Ameri like you Americans watching this, you're probably thinking, why are we going like so much about like how it's just mind blowing? You gotta take into account the the college equivalent, our university, right? The sport games, there would probably be ten people, twenty people there, bro. And then you guys have 80,000. It's mad. It's mad. Experience. Here come the lads. Let's go. What is going on? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, wow. They're going all out. People that are shorter than us. 
Do they actually have like actual cheerleaders? I think even I could get into Or is that a movie oh thing? Oh god, it's still coming. Do they just put a flyer up saying, do you want to join the band? Wait, how big is the band? Your University of Southern California Trojan. Wait, he just said university. I thought you'd not say you not say college. Why did you say university? And the whole team, your University of Southern California Trojans, home of 135 national championships. Okay, to explain to you why there's a man on a horse in the distance, I, I, I'm sure I've just seen that, right? Where? Well, there is, look, you see a horse's head in the very distance. No way. It's like half your age. Christ, look at him, it's like a horde. So many. Let's go, boys, let's go! Adam, let's go! How many people is in the team? This is oh. mind blowing, bro. Like, just how big the stadium is, how how big you go out. Like, it's really cool. Like the before with the tailgating as well. Like, it's actually like I I can see myself having a load, mo a, like a lot of fun if I live around this area to come to these games and support this more than like me supporting a football team in in the UK. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't really I I support England. And I watch like the international games, but club games, I'm not really into it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like I kind of like football, but going to the games and whatnot, I'm not really into it. This, I could actually see myself going to. No, it's definitely a man. I've just seen it. Well played. I feel like they factor in entertainment as well. What performance out there? What a performance. Is someone going to make a very cringy? Let's get the right decisions out there. Wait, I just thought, why, how is he here? <laughs> Isn't he like in like a very like VIP area right now? Uh, refs. I bet you that happens. I bet it happens. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's pissing himself. He's a joker. He's the joker of the pack. Here they come. I'll die for you. I'll die for you. I will die for you. This guy. <laughs> oh, is he the guy? Is he the main man? What's happening? What is going on? Where am I going? Where am I going? <laughs> bro, he's <laughs> he's actually gonna end up on the field, bro, playing with them in the minute. Look at all these people here. This is mental. Over there, they're all kicking off over there, aren't they? They're the ultras. Oh god. Where is he going? Yeah, that is true. Oh, yeah, look at that beast. I'll do him with that. That is true. Some of that. I missed, I missed kickoff, but... Yeah, in England, they'll be calling them all sorts of names. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I've also pulled my left calf running. <laughs> That's not even a joke. Or do we either die a cringy football vlogger? Or you live long enough to see yourself become a cringy. See, this this actually looks really fun, man. Like I'm telling you right now, he's definitely having fun. He would get any like he would get an experience like that in the UK at all, bro. American football vlogger. Me was great. Ford go generic kettle corn and some strawberry lemonade. Eighteen dollars. The game started, but I've not heard any noise, so I'm presuming nothing's happened. It's interesting. Eighteen dollars. And this many people well, just don't. It makes sense. Like stadium food, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Like festival food, sport game food. It is expensive. Care? I think it's probably the way I'd say. Which is good. Like, because ultimately this result doesn't really matter, does it? Right, let's see what the seats like. It's a dart food. One, two, two, B. We're going down very much. Oh, it's decent, isn't it? It's a decent little view of us. Oh, uh, yeah, it's good. This is insane, man. 
I feel so American by just like watching through his camera. Like, bro, what, like seeing that there is just like reminding me of like movies and series I've seen, bro, and I'm feeling it right now. <laughs> Uh, he's vibing. Oh, who likes some popcorn now? Oh, the cheerleaders! Yo! They're not just in movies. This is mad. I understand a little bit of like football, but not like every rule, you know what I mean? I know you gotta get the ball and touch down and whatnot, and the, the, the very, very, very basic. I can't even see what happened. This is so cool. Bro, and that blimp just chilling. For anyone who doesn't know, they need to stop this to get the ball back. That's what's going on. Well, where's the ball? You know what? This is actually making me want to go to a football game. I ain't going to lie. The only thing this guy has is... It, can you take food in? Because I'm not seeing anyone with food. I'm telling you right now, if I if I was here, I'd be the only person with two hot dogs in my hands. I ain't, I ain't going to lie, bro. I'd, I'd be having two hot dogs in my hands. I'd be cheering. It would be a great time. Love that. That wouldn't happen in the UK either. You guys might know this already, but in the UK, people people don't really talk to each other. You know what I mean? Like like that guy saying, give it a high five to someone random. Bro, that's so American to us. Like that just wouldn't happen. It's really weird. They seem to celebrate moments more than the touchdowns. Interesting. They go mad, but a touchdown is like, ah. It's like asking a man for a corner. Don't get me wrong, like, there's stuff on, like keeping the fans entertained is cool, but like, it's like, oh wait, if you watch a TikTok and there's like subway surfers playing at the same time, like, can you not just focus <laughs> on the thing that you're supposed to be focusing on? Surely you can't focus on both at once. No, but you can choose. Once again, still the equivalent of like Norwich University having this many people sign up. Yeah, them. that's crazy. Wait, Wait, yeah, so, like, your team's cheerleader, well, they're, they're, they're part of the team. Your team's cheerleaders travel with the team to... Ch what? What is that? Clapping. Isn't he clapping for the other team? Isn't he clapping for the wrong team? Maybe I should join them. That is a sick view for a scoreboard, isn't it? Like, just insanely cool. Yeah, that's beautiful. Honestly, yeah, I love, like, the Roman Empire and the Colosseum. I really want to go to Roman stuff. And, bro, this is just really cool, man. Like, this Colosseum Stadium type thing. Oh, my God. It's actually sick.
This guy again. <laughs> I love him. Oh, they're all giving high fives to everyone, man. Completely missed it, but it was good. <laughs> This I'll is just, I'll, I'll just Wait, how long is the game? Because it went from day to night. How long is the game? That you when something important happens at this point, there's just too many touchdowns. How many people? Yo, how many cheerleaders are there? <laughs> Alright, this is mad. Bad problem? What was the problem? Wait, what's the pick? This guy is still high-fiving everyone, man. What a guy. It is good vibes. It is very good vibes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 1,000%. Like, I can tell from the video. Like, the vibes is, like, especially if you're taking some people with you as well. Bro, it's going to be 10 out of 10, man. Another touchdown. This is a ridiculously high-scoring game. The game has just stopped at a really pivotal point, and now we're playing a game on the board. <laughs> what? Where, where, the, where the American football is. What is going on? What are we doing? Just watch the, the sport. <laughs> Come on. More high fives. <laughs> oh my god, everyone's high fiving yes. everyone. Yes! <laughs> yes! We, we yes! love. Yeah, no, I was going to say please. We love college football. 42 42. 42-42. Close game. Christ. Yeah, I can't lie. When I come to America, I'm definitely going to a college football game or as well as an NFL football game. I don't know how, like what the difference are with like the kind of environments and stuff, but 100% I am. Really cool. I was thinking what was happening. <laughs> Whatever you think of this, everyone here is having fun. Yeah. Well, mostly, nearly everyone. No, I actually love this though. Like, I'm literally like staring at people around like in the crowd and stuff and it just seems everyone's having a great time. If they block the kick, it might actually erupt in here. The amateur is actually getting really good. So I'll block it. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's the game done. Um, I'm off. Goodbye. Yeah, we lose. What Goodbye, happened? USC. We'll catch up in a bit. So, college football, what did I make of it? Um, that was I think good. people are going to no, ask, like expect that. me to have an opinion either way. It was just, it was fine. You know, I had fun. People around me had fun. Do I think going into the last bit of a final game, like, of, like a big game that you have to win and you're doing the YMCA and it's even is like is <laughs> weird to me? Yeah, it is weird. I think it's just as viewed as entertainment. Sport. Yeah, I can't lie. The two, the two sports are so different with like atmospheres and environments and stuff like the football in the UK and football in america but like they they're good for different reasons you know what i mean they're good for different reasons me personally i kind of like the entertainment aspect of it so I, i'm not gonna lie i probably would go to more like american football games than i would uk football games so sport in america and that's fine that's how they view it if someone around me was trying to do the ymca of leeds uh one one on a playoff final <laughs> with 10 minutes to go i'd probably scream at them 
Um, but it's a different sport, True. it's a different experience. I had fun, never dodged, run on the pitch again. Check out my mentor at the top of the description. Yeah, that was cool, that was cool. Really enjoyed that video. Make sure you do go check him out. His link will be in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv before slash LFWG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.